All right, what's up, y'all doing, Nation? This is RJ. I'm here with my co-host. Hassan. Francisco. Jason. Today's episode, we're talking about girls and money <laughs> and how to get girls while making money. All right, y'all. So, like, hell yeah. How we... Damn it, dude. You can't say hell <laughs> yeah, bro. Said. Fuck. <laughs> no, you guys. No, no, no. Don't stop. You can just edit it. You can oh, always edit it. Okay, okay. Yeah, we cut can. it out. Okay. Uh, okay, so how do we, I'm like... I'm keeping that shit in. How are we going to start talking about this shit, bro? Like, this is such an interesting topic. Girl. Because you got to start, bro. Like, uh, Which mic you, got? you just got to start. So, like, look, if if you got a girl, <laughs> like, if you got a girl you like in your class, bro, just look at her, acknowledge her, and, and things of that nature. But, you know, Frankie and Desan could really tell y'all because... I like, <laughs> like I like going out in public and finding new people. Yeah, yeah, not not like school. looking at the same people every day. It's just it just gets. It's boring. Yeah, and annoying. Yeah, school is weird. Then once you really get to know them, it's just like they're all bots. Oh it's like yeah, AI. People are not real. And I feel like like getting girls a generation is crazy because they all think you're just trying to trying to have sexual interactions and you just want to leave like. It's weird because exactly. they all had this weird stereotype about boys because of what they didn't see and stuff. Like, they all stereotype boys for no reason. So, Frankie, uh, you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah. How did you guys get together and how long have you been together? Uh, well, I've known her since, like, middle school. She was my crush in middle school, and then I just seen her. She posted, and then I just lit up. All right. What'd, oh, what'd, you you, what'd you say? I just said, oh, you haven't posted in a while. Like, I think it's because she was in a relationship at the time. Mm. And then she posted again, and then I slid up. I was like, oh, I haven't seen you post in a minute. Mm. You feel me? And then, and then the conversation started going. Tight. So how long have y'all been together? Like a month. Oh, that's not bad. That's like not bad. Over. Do you think she's loyal? Yeah. She so, is? Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. I mean. Damn. Nah, don't, don't worry about it. Just don't worry. Don't even worry about it, bro. Son? What about you, man? I have a girl. You do? How did how did this come about? Um, I was seeing her around school. One day I texted her. I was like, hey, what's up? Then it went on from there. So I, I think I, we should speak into the news mic because it's kind of cut out a little bit. So we can both share this mic. And then I was like, you were looking cute or whatever. Like, <laughs> 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 Boom, one thing led to another. So, if y'all don't know, Frank, me, Frankie, and Desan was in a YouTube video for, uh, we was at the fair, and I say it was a great video. We tried to get RJ up in there, but, you know, it's... That's some parents. personal parents in there. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, though. We're going to get him next year, though. Definitely yeah, next year. Yeah, yeah. Cool and cool. He's going to have that ZL1 and, you know. ZL1 is crazy. ZL1 straight out of high school. Boom. Stop the cap. <laughs> Track hooks, ZL1s, right. Camaros. Cause like Wait what about y'all I mean what Like y'all talking to somebody or what Nah we just like I'm working on it right testing now Testing the waters of yeah. Different people it. Type, I type. Feel it. Different races okay. Just like Different <laughs> religion Different background just, Like Different religions Recently I've gotten into the Asians For real? They are bad <laughs> They are bad And this is how you do it right here <laughs> Never mind Give us the method Give us Never the method. mind Give us the method Give us the method Hold on, bro. So, like, if you see somebody on Instagram and they post, like, just like Frankie said, if they post, like, pictures of them, you got to like it and then start liking their story and then slide up one day and then be like, something, something, something. You got to slide up with something good. I don't know what to say. I know what to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, Like, if they post a song and, like, you know the song, too. Like, hey, yeah, you, exactly. What you know about that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I use it a couple times. Something it works a lot. And then you see them post something about a song and then you post it and then you post the same song. Mm, they, so gonna they gonna start. They gonna look at your story. Be like, oh, look, yeah, I put exactly. you on whatever, and you can go from that. Exactly. exactly. So that's some words right there, bro. Me personally, y'all, I don't know about y'all, man, but the motion that I'm having, y'all cannot put this stuff in perspective, bro. Like, to be honest, <laughs> with <y 'all. laughs> let's hear it. The motion, man. I transitioned it to man. money. Are we talking about money? Oh, you said motion, no? Yeah, motion is money and girls, bro. Oh, exactly. Girls, so bro. if you got the money, all you need is just to find the right girl. Hey, bro, I feel like sometimes if you get a wrong girl, she going to use you for your money, bro. But, like, it's kind of hard to find it right here, bro. But to really, like, the ideal girl, 
is to get a girl that you can get money with. Exactly. Get you a girl that got her a good little stable job or something like that, bro. You got to make sure you got your own first and stuff like that. So you ain't like relying on her type. But you know what I'm saying? Get you some motion with your little shorty, bro. Yeah. But right now we go, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna hit we're gonna hit y'all with a little eye real quick. So we'll be right back. Hey there, Duo Nation. I'm thrilled to share my latest discovery. Mm. Fuck, so oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Let the internet talk. Started going on this thing, bro. Making fucking random noise. Right, he just said that word. Right. Hey, hey, bro, hold on. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that in it. You cannot keep that shit in it, bro. All right, my YouTube, yes. Okay, go. Hey there, Duo Nation. I'm thrilled to share my latest discovery: the bed phone holder. Life changing, you ask? Absolutely. I used to struggle with the eternal question: where do I put my phone while unwinding in bed? Enter the bed phone holder, a game changer. Whether you're binge watching your favorite shows, reading an ebook, or just scrolling through social media, this nifty gadget keeps your phone secure and within arm's reach. But it's not just about convenience, no. It's about reclaiming relaxation time. No more contouring your body or balancing acts. The bed phone holder brings comfort and ease to your bedtime routine. I can't believe I went so long without this. It's like having a personal assistant for my nighttime routine. Finally, no more accidental drops on my face. This thing is a lifesaver. And the best part is, it's versatile and compatible with any phone size. Plus, it's adjustable, so you can find that perfect viewing angle. <sighs> Say goodbye to the struggles and a hello to a revolution in bedtime tech. Don't miss out. Get your bed phone holder today and transform the way you unwind. Visit the bed phone holder website and make your nights more compatible. Sweet dreams, everyone. Damn it, I said compatible. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Fuck, okay. Visit our website now. Damn it. Visit. Bo, it says <laughs> visit our website. It's what are you smoking? <laughs> it's not on our website. <laughs> <laughs> Just go, bro. You got it. You got visit it. Visit the bed phone holder website now and make your nights more comfortable. Sweet dreams, everyone. And Damn. we're back. And speaking of motion, bro, do your homework on Francisco being rich, bro. Nah. Crazy. Nah. Crazy. Nah, rich. Pulled up Crazy. to Bo. This man drives a Tahoe every single day, bro. Escalade. We're not going over this again. It's an Escalade. <laughs> Pulled up to this parents. man. Pulled up to this man. Frankie House, bro. He got a three-story house. This man got a cabin <laughs> in his backyard, bro. This man got a cabin. He got his own private. Where was that cabin hey, at, bro? don't talk about houses, bro. I've been to your house. Bro. Hey, whoa. Hey. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Yeah, what's, yeah. Let's hey. go ahead. Chill out now. Nah. You wanted me to take him home. Hey, took him home <laughs> once. Gated community had to put in the code. <laughs> Low way. This big ass gate opened up, and all you see is just mansions, mansion, mansion, mansion. Modern Waterfall with the, uh, with the little, with the little sheds and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Crazy. Community, community pool where it's a fall. Oh, <laughs> Crazy. Sorry. There is a waterfall, and it's a whole amusement park in there. Where the sign? Aren't you rich, bro? Having all this motion. What's okay? What's your like main way of making money and stuff? Like, what do y'all yeah, do yeah, to make question, money question. other than your job? Like a side hustle. Yeah, what's your side oh, hustle? Other than your, like, amen. Your job? I sell candy. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Do the real one, bro. Do your real job. Come on, bro. Come on uh, I make clothes. It's all right, it's all right. What's your, what's hey, your clothing brand called, bro? Honey proof. It, details. Honey proof. We need details. How did, how did that start? Oh, well. It all Back started story. with an idea. Boom. One time, um, I was just on my computer making designs, trying to make some money. Then it went from... This shit looked fire, so I was like, um, I should put it on a shirt one day. Then I just kept doing it and doing it. it. People was telling me to keep doing it. Then I started making my own clothes, and it went out from there. Tight, tight, tight. I actually own his jacket. I actually That's own a Hunter Proof. Very clean. You guys go shop at Hunter Proof. It's uh, Instagram. Tell them how to spell it. Tell them how to spell Hunter Proof, man. H U N N I D P R O O F X. Mm, that, that's my Instagram. X, right? Instagram and YouTube. Oh, Instagram, YouTube. TikTok, all of it. Oh, yeah. So, Francisco, how do you make money? Well, we know you got motion. Nah, side hustles? Nothing right now, to be Bartel. honest. I'm Bartel. trying to get into it, though. Like, what's selling, your, what's your, like maybe like selling clothes or something. What's your main job, Tyler? Like, what's your full oh, job? Just working with McDonald's. <laughs> Boom. Tight, tight. You see it. But I'm trying to get a different job, but I'm just looking right now. 
I mean, Casey, how you make your money, bro? Uh, my mom and dad are entrepreneurs themselves with like little businesses. Um, my dad cuts grass, so I, you know, go with him during the now summer. You got experience. Oh yeah. In the fields. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a slave now. I, I can oh, yeah. say that. Me and Archie finna help you in the summer. Oh man, we can. Yeah, it's not hard. I mean, fifty yards a day. Fifty damn. Fifty. <laughs> fifty <laughs> yards a day. Is your bro. That's crazy. But no, nah, I usually that's where I get like at least twenty five to like thirty five a day. If like you know, I go. That's good money though. Actually, and cutting grass is not even hard. It isn't. It's just hot. Yeah, it's just hot. Yeah. Um, and then I referee basketball. I get twenty five dollars a game, so that's twenty five dollars an hour. Uh, what else I do? I help my mom. Uh, she has a daycare, but like I just be helping around. I get paid like. Maybe five dollars. Type type. My man, case and good with kids for real. I wouldn't say it like that. Because <laughs> okay, no, you're the only one that took it like that, man. I'm trying to hype you up for. You know, I mean, I mean, yeah, like. like, and that's what girls like too. So back to the girls, you know, mm. I'm good with kids. Mm. Tiny so the girls with the money. Come man. on, bro. Like, hold on. Nah, you come can't on. tell a girl that you got money. You can't, you can't even tell her because nah. then she gonna she gonna be fake, man. Like yeah, first date, word. first date, boom, we gotta split it. What you talking about? Split the first day. No, I was just like, I was just like, whoa, friend. Hey, if you want to see if she's real, then you got it. Oh, uh, after a couple, you'd be like, hey, you trying to split this? You know, nah, just don't even. I'll say split it. You got to take it. Just take it. Take the bill. Yeah. <laughs> and then my other income is YouTube. I uh, got a YouTube channel. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hey, he's laughing, Why but when, laughing when you hit the mill. Hey, bro, when you hit that one milli, bro, do your homework on case of having 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Mm, Go ahead, subscribe at uh, all Kaysen. caps, King Kason, K I N G, all caps, uh, K A S O N, all caps. There you go. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he yapping too much. Go next to RJ. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we going to RJ. He's an entrepreneur himself. Yes, sir. So, not only do I brand ambassador for my cousin's clothing brand, Wasted Productions LLC, but nah. Mm. I got this little thing. It's like a 360 photo booth. It's like a platform you stand on. It's like ride, basically spin around, take a video, and stuff like that. People book us for their own events and stuff like that. So we go. We charge a lot of money. I ain't going to lie. I get paid $10 an hour, and I work at least six hours every day. But, yeah, uh, I'll be doing that and stuff. Uh, uh, but in terms of, like, side hustles, I'll be selling clothes, cut grass. I really do anything for real. It's all about making money. About making Motion, money. man. That's pretty crazy. Uh RJ didn't didn't say his links for his clothing brand either. Oh, visit wstdapparel.com. That is W-S-T-D-A-P-P-A-R-E-L.com. Shop now. But thank you guys for tuning in for today's episode. And we will be back. We're not done, Brody. What are you next? doing? Wait, what are we what else we got? We still gotta talk about the hus, man. The hus. You still want to talk about that? Okay. Nah. <laughs> They're going to talk all day. Okay. Go ahead. Start your effort. Go ahead. Do your thing. All right, yo. Okay, so we're going to be uh, that TV out. Banks. Check that out. TV, TV Banks. TV Banks. All right, so look, so, so, right, look, look I'm going to tell y'all a story. Speed it up, story. though. I'm going to tell y'all a story, so... Can we start, bro? We're on air right now. Hey, man. All right, so look. I'm going to tell y'all a story, right? I'm going to tell you the story about how homes got lined. So look. I'm at my mama crib, right? My mama got her girlfriend there, right? It's my mama... It's her girlfriend. They in her room. I'm in my room. My room is at the back of the house. My mama's room is back at the mansion, basically. It lit. My mama's room is basically by the front door type sign. So, the girl type, she talk, pull up, right? Mm. I say, okay, come on in. Like, come slide. Come slide. Pull up. But my mama's real straight. I got to find a way to get out the house without making real noise because she's right in front of the door. It's like, right? So, look, right? I get out my room, you know what you gotta do? You gotta lift the door up so you don't make hell enough. I'm say, yeah, I mean, that when you open the door. So I lift me up my little door, I walk out, so how'd I get in her car? My mama texts me, take the trash out. Perfect. Ooh, I already did. I can't open with it. God did it? No. No, he didn't. We stand in the store, we can't talk about God. Okay. Alright, so look, right the time I take the trash out. Are you paying attention? Yes. So look. <laughs> you can just hit. <laughs> So this time I take the trash out, I'm like, I'm already on it. The trash was already out before I already on it, you know what I'm saying? So that gave me an excuse to go outside. I go outside, I get in the car. She's quiet. I'm like, I'm like, what you on? She she looking real nervous, her legs shaking. You know what I'm saying? She looking around, bro. She looking around. <laughs> I got kind of nervous. I'm like, what, what's gonna go? Yeah. My neighborhood is, you see my neighborhood, it's really like ducked off type type. So it's like, it's easy, you can see. I've seen the gigs. <laughs> Somebody got in there, bro. 
This all black tenant car started rolling back and forth past my house. I'm I'm scared. Somebody knows where I live. It was my neighbor. We did what it did. I went back inside. I went to bed. That's it. Interesting individuals. We didn't actually do anything. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I gave her a hug and she left. Hell. Interesting. Come on, bro. You, YOLO. You only live with. Uh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. <laughs> what about the sign and the sneaky links, though? The sign, bro. Tell us about your. Tell us about your love life, man. Um. Noise. Great, great. That's great. <laughs> 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 Ah, thank you, man. Right, right. Let us know. <laughs> Woo, I got a lot, All lots right, like that, bro. Yeah, that's just enough. That's the oh, yeah. yeah. I can tell y'all so. Go ahead, back to you, the song. Okay, like uh, I've been with a couple. All girls, right, that's enough, bro. So I don't want to hear about all this, bro. Nah, what? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, like, people want to hear. Um, it was this one girl in Guthrie when I was in Guthrie. Oh, one time. Guthrie. I used to sneak through her window. What the? Oh, oh, whoa, hold on, hold on. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You all oh, yeah. the way here, and you go at 34, 35 minutes to sneak into a window. I mean, I was, I, I was. Was it good? At her house. It, nah, it was horrible. <laughs> oh. oh. You're talking about food, of course. The food, yeah, the food, yeah, the, the food. food the, the food they the had food. was terrible. Yeah, the food was terrible. Oh, yeah, the food was trash. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. I can tell you what throw it off. It was the eggs. It was just saggy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she has some. She couldn't make eggs, bro. Eggs was just like Her soggy and just like soggy. Soggy. Like, and stuff. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 and I what? she was on her period. I thought she'd been my demon. Blood everywhere. <laughs> on the white <laughs> sheet. <laughs> okay, that's too far. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely do not oh put that in. God. I, I thought that she'd been my dingling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Mm. I thought she'd been my dingling. It was just her blood. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my dingling. <laughs> <laughs> you bit me <sighs> Nah man Let's talk about sports bro We all play sports right here bro Yes sir Actually that's the next episode Fuck it Student yeah. athletes next episode Alright y'all oh, Alright y'all This is the Duo Nation This is your host RJ We got my co-host The son Francisco Come on Go man. ahead oh, Francisco Go ahead What are you Shit. doing yeah, Do it Shit. again We gotta re redo it bro. Go ahead bro Alright Duo Nation This will wrap up our episode today bro Thank you for tuning in of course, this is your co-host RJ. Whoa, damn it! Damn, nigga. All right, <laughs> all right, do it next. We gonna wrap this up. Damn it! Stop! <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I didn't get to tell my stories. <laughs> all right, Duo Nation. This is damn it. All right, Duo Nation. Damn we it. go. Damn it! Shut up! Uh, <laughs> it's all Come good. on, let him go, bro. Okay. All right, Duo Nation. We gonna wrap this episode up right here. This is your host RJ. I got my co-host right here, Kason. <laughs> Wait, what try is it wrong with you? Alright, bro. Come on, pay attention. <laughs> Alright, All right, bro. Alright, duo nation. We're gonna wrap this episode up here. I got Damn it! Alright, duo Damn it! Okay. <laughs> Come on, like you did it the first time, bro. Alright, duo nation. We're gonna wrap this episode up right here. Of course, this is your host, RJ. We got my co-host right here. The song. Francisco. Chase. God. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. All right, y'all. Next episode, I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek. We're going to talk about being a student athlete. That's next episode, though. All right, y'all. Tune in next time. Bro. I guess. Ski, y'all. Ski!